In this tutorial, we're going to look at designing a two flow heat exchanger. So having a hot fluid and a cold fluid interacting across a gyroid based infill. And then we're going to add the manifolding to the inlets and outlets so that we can get these fluids inside and out without them mixing. So I've imported this shape here that I've created in CAD and I want the cold fluid to come in this side and come out of the bottom right and the hot fluid to come in the opposite side and flow through and exit through the other side. So first things first, I want to design the main internal body of the lattice. So I'm going to click on the model, click the lattice tab and add a surface based lattice. In this case, I'm going to keep things simple and use the standard gyroid based lattice. And for the main body of this heat exchanger, I'm going to make sure the double skin button is clicked, the checkbox here. And I'm going to set the cell size to be a little bit smaller at 10 in each of the X, Y, and Z sizes. For now, I'm going to keep the density at 0.5 the simplicity. Next, I want to create the inlet manifolding. So this side and this side. So to do that, I'm going to hold down the shift key and click on this face to select one face. And then holding down the shift key and then adding the control key. So control shift and click. I'm going to select the opposite face on the other side. And then I'm going to click on the offset surface button in the lattice tab. Here, I'm going to set my offset to be a negative offset into the surface. And I'm going to just select two millimeters. Keep the lattice type the same. And I don't want the double skin checked in this case because I want to close off only one side of the heat exchanger. So I want to close off in a sense the hot side so that cold fluid can only flow in. And I need the cell size to be the same. So I'm going to set this to be 10. So now I have to do the other side for the hot fluid. So again, I'm going to hold down the shift key, add the control key. So I'm holding down control and shift and click on the opposite face and add the offset surface button. Again, minus two. Set the cell size to be 10, no double skin, but because I'm on the opposite side, I need to click on the inverse button checkbox. So in effect, I'm closing the other wall than I would, than I did the first time. And this is all we need to do. So to generate this lattice, I will set my generate resolution to be 0 0.3 and press the generate button. And this will generate all of the lattice structures, including the manifolding, and create my volume that I can then export for printing. So here we can see we've manifolded the inlets and outlets of the heat exchanger. And we have the main body heat exchanger with the double skin on. And I can smooth this geometry and then using the export current volume option, I can export this for printing. One thing I want to go through first is if we want to change the density of the lattice. So we want to make the internal walls thinner. We need to follow a set of equations that allow us to keep the manifolding the same distance. So let's say I set my density value of my main internal body with the double skin on to be a different value, 0.2, say. Next, we need to follow the equations here that I'm putting up now in the edit to set the density values for the inverse and non-inverse offset surface lattices. So for the non-inverse lattice, 
the one without the inverse box checked, the density value needs to be two times the density of the surface lattice with the double skin on. So in this case, 0.4. So my offset inverse lattice, so the one with the inverse box ticked, needs to be 0 0.5 minus two times my main density minus 0 0.5. So if we put the numbers into that equation, we see that this one comes out to be 0 0.6. And then this should, again, when I generate this, be manifolded the same but with thinner walls. So we just leave this run for a few seconds and then we can see the results as they come through. So here we can see we've got a thinner wall in our main body of the lattice because we've reduced the density value, but we still have the correct manifolding and each of the inlets and outlets. So I can add in my external body if I want now. And here we can see that we've manifolded the heat exchanger on the inlets and outlets. And we've created a gyroid heat exchanger lattice in the center part of this heat exchanger structure.